Senior Sci-Fi Geeks. We're doing the virus of the walking dead. The Walking Dead reigns as the top zombie tale of our time. It's like the ultimate horror soap opera with everybody trying to avoid becoming a zombie's next snack. The story is centered around infection and how people get bit by zombies. So let's dive into the juicy, pun intended details of how the virus works. All righty then, let's kick off with what we knew. So remember when Rick and the gang made their way to the CDC in Atlanta at the end of season one? Well, turns out they cracked the case like a pack of undead detectives. The big reveal, zombie virus is the real deal, folks. It's like the world's worst subscription service. Everyone's got it, and there are no refunds. Yep, you heard it here first. No matter how you kick the bucket, you're RSVPing to the zombie party. Unless, of course, your brain is dead. Now, is there anything in the real world that comes close to this? Take a peek into the world of Parasites and you'll find some real life horror shows. In the popular video game and TV series The Last of Us, there's a genus of fungus called Cordyceps. We will probably do a video of this at some point. Unlike The Last of Us, the Cordyceps don't infect humans, just ants. That would make them zombie ants. Like other parasites, Cordyceps drains its host completely of nutrients before filling its body with spores. That will let the fungus reproduce. It then compels the insect to seek height and remain there before it expels these spores from the back of its head, infecting other nearby ants in the process. But wait, it gets weirder. Ever heard of Toxoplasma gondii? This little critter plays mind games with rats, convincing them that the cat pee is the latest fragrance trend. Why? Because it wants those rats to take one for the team and become kitty snacks. And guess what? This parasite doesn't stop there. It hops into cats, does its thing, and eventually finds its way to unsuspecting, pussy, loving humans like you, mainly through cat poop. This parasite is estimated to affect one-third of the human population. Keep your hands out of the kitty litter! Acute toxoplasmosis is your body's response to an initial infection with T. gondii. That's the virus. Most people don't feel sick, but you might have flu-like symptoms. Again, keep your hands out of the kitty litter! Picture this, you're minding your own business, maybe taking a stroll through the post-apocalyptic countryside, when suddenly, jump! You've got a zombie gnawing on your arm like it's the last turkey leg at Thanksgiving. Now, in the wacky world of The Walking Dead, it's not so much about the virus doing the cha 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 in your bloodstream, no, it's more like a game of dental disaster roulette. You see, it's all about that dead, decaying mouth making direct contact with your precious flesh. And let's face it, without a top-notch healthcare plan or a stash of band-aids, you're pretty much burnt toast. So, while real-life parasites might not be lining up to turn us into the walking dead, a good old-fashioned zombie bite still packs quite the punch. Remember, folks, when life gives you zombies, make sure your insurance is up to date. For in a zombie apocalypse, you have more chance of seeing a unicorn than a medical doctor. Until next time, thanks for watching. Put some pants on Steve. That's better. Subscribe!